I am Dr. Sharjeel and you are watching my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel at the end. Today we have got a very pleasant weather. You can see raining in my hometown when I was going home. So I thought I should capture a few moments of rain. Now let's come to our today's topic. Uh, today in the third video of diabetic retinopathy series I'll show you this 25 years old male type 1 diabetic patient uh, who has uncontrolled diabetes. Um, he is taking uh, insulin 38 units in the morning and 38 units in the night. Now his vision in both eyes was counting finger which was not improving with refraction intraocular pressure was within normal range now just imagine a 25 years old young kid with uncontrolled diabetes came to ophthalmologist for the first time when his vision become counting finger so we should again educate diabetic people to have annual eye exam irrespective of the vision to diagnose this uh, devastating uh, disease diabetic retinopathy early to decrease the ocular morbidity as well as the cost of the disease treatment now on slit lamp uh, examination uh, right eye had uh, early posterior subcapsular cataract uh, and uh, you can see the retina you can see the vessels the tortuous uh, vessels uh, which are going on the retina just like a worm intertwined within each other uh, there is inferior vitreous hemorrhage new vascularization elsewhere on the retina venous beading and venous looping with dot and blot hemorrhages hard exudates and even cotton wool spots so Again, this patient had advanced diabetic eye disease. Now, venous looping, beading, and irmas. Irmas are intraretinal microvascular abnormalities. Now, what are the irmas? Irmas are abnormal branching shunt vessels or dilation of the pre-existing capillaries within the retina that act to supply areas of non-perfusion in diabetic retinopathy. They are located within the retina, whereas new vessels are on the surface of the retina, more superficial. Irmas are large in caliber with a more broad arrangement and are always contained intraretinal. New vessels are much finer, delicate, in caliber superficial and try to grow into the vitreous with a fibrous component irmas don't leak whereas new vessels leak on fundus angiography now the definition is very clear between irmas and uh, new vessels in this patient we have got both irmas and new vessels and uh, this patient had venous beading which is irregular constriction and dilatation of venules in the retina as well as venous loops so i thought the venous loops are uh, again uh, uh, a very important uh, diabetic retinopathy sign uh, which we see rarely so i thought i should show you here you can very clearly see venous looping they frequently occur adjusted to the areas of non-perfusion and reflect increased retinal ischemia Usually it represents the stage of severe NPDR, but here in this patient we have everything, venous loops, venous beading, irmas, new vessels and vitreous hemorrhage. Now this patient requires monthly anti vegf and extensive pan-retinal photocoagulation. Now patient had similar counting, vision, counting finger vision in the left eye. In that eye, there was more advanced diabetic cataract, fenders view was more hazy than the right eye, but still with effort, inferior which is hemorrhage, new vessels, uh, irmas, as well as epiretinal membrane on the fovea was appreciated. Now to confirm the ERM, we need OCT macula, and most probably this eye will require phacoemulsification to clear the view, anti vegf uh, followed by the pars plena vitrectomy. So that was an interesting case I thought I should share with you.